was the questions asked questions what question the visa officer asked and uh, the visa officer first question asked me what subjects how what did you say and i said i'm going to pursue my mba in project management okay then what then he asked me why you are going to hazing university okay and then i answered him that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the department of mba in hazing university offering some advanced courses like uh, project management and uh, project value strategies and secondly hazing university is uh, promoting to attend the conferences like uh, hazing Herz innovation challenges and uh, regional midwest conferences which will help me to learn about new techniques and technologies which i will implement back in my family business what more what more questions and then he asked me uh, what your father do and I, i replied him my father owns a construction company in saudi arabia and the next question is uh, uh, is your brother is in united states i said yes and then he asked me what he do over there i said he is currently studying in the united states and then he checked my brother's records and then asked me is your brother uh, transfer his university from indiana state university to a north american university i said yes then he asked me why he changed his university and i replied him that uh, the course structure provided by the indiana state university is not up to his expectations but and then the visa officer got a little bit angry and asked me that uh, indiana state university is much better than north american university and you are not qualified sorry better luck next time so indiana university at bloomington right yeah change to which university North American University. <coughs> okay, you have your second visa date on which date? Twenty first March. Okay, tell me how can I help you? Okay. Uh, the my uh, question is that uh, how can I uh, convince the visa officer? Because I thought the visa officer maybe rejected me because of my brother changed his university. So I need a solution. What can I say to visa officer if uh, the next time visa officer also ask me the same question? Why you have brother change his university? Okay. Now first, basically, before I answer that, few things you have to understand. Okay. next time when you go for visa officer the first question that he is going to ask is what additional documents have you bought this time how will you answer that i will uh, i i am just thought that uh, that i can change my sponsor before my sponsor is my mother and uh, uh, now this time i'm uh, thinking about to change my sponsor to my both parents father and mother so by changing sponsor what what changes have you bought if the visa officer asked me uh, what changes you have made this time then i will answer that uh, i i have changed my sponsor before my sponsor is my mother and this time my parents are my sponsor my father and my mother both okay see uh, understand okay changing sponsor is not important okay okay for example you say last time my father was sponsoring this time my mother is also sponsoring me so i am carrying an additional funds of let's say 15000 us dollars okay that will be making a difference what is not changing sponsor doesn't make any difference by adding a sponsor how much funds have you added all right okay okay so that is going to make a difference that okay uh, last time i was only having my father as a sponsor this time i'm also i'm having my, both my parents as sponsor and i am carrying a additional funds of 15000 us dollars okay so then the visa officer will say okay fine makes sense just changing sponsor doesn't help for hmm. earlier my father was sponsoring now my parents are sponsoring now your with your parents sponsoring what change has you bought in your document 
so i have added 15000 us dollars all right i got your point okay second basically one day what additional documents you have bought okay that is going to ask now which university you are going to help go for again going for helsing university okay fine uh now let's come to your question okay uh the question basically the visa officer is uh, uh, telling you is you are not an expert mm. your brother is not an expert to tell a particular university is not good and particular industry is not good okay you are just a student and in terms of ranking indian university of bloomington is much better university yeah so how did you answer that my brother did not like the course or what how, how, what was your answer there tell you can you tell me repeat that for answer first uh, visa officer asked me why your brother changed his university from indiana to north american i said the course structure provided by the indiana university is not up to his expectations then the visa officer asked me but indiana state university is much better than north american university guy right. so see when you are saying not up to his expectation means matlab what are you looking for that you did not get in indiana university bloomington but you got in north american university hmm. okay just by saying no is not up to the expectation it doesn't answer your question how is it not up to the expectation one because indiana university bloomington is a much better university than north american university so he is doubting that whether you are a genuine student or not your brother also went to us he went to one university transferred to second university so are you also genuine student you are basically coming for this university are you going to study in this university or are you going to also go to some other university i don't think you are a serious student that is his question that is his doubt okay all right so here what is important is suppose you have you if you tell that okay Uh, in North American University, my brother got a scholarship. Uh, all right. Did he get a scholarship? No, he didn't. Okay. Okay. Then basically, what was the reason? Was it because of the low cost? Yeah, it's a low cost university. Huh. So, uh, my brother went to. Then you basically say that my brother went to North American University because he had done some correspondence, which I am carrying the print out. he found the cost reasonable as well in terms of basically uh, indian university bloomington so to save some money and to and since the program was to his liking he has changed the university to north american university yeah see understand one thing you are there to convince the visa officer mm -hmm. right you cannot convince the visa officer by saying if i say you know i don't like your beard will it be a fair statement yeah you know is it a fair it is not a fair statement why i have to say i don't like your beard because you know uh, your beard uh, basically is uh, you know small or this or that it doesn't suit you or for some reason i am telling you then you say okay fine uh, i got your point why you don't like my beard just saying i don't like your beard is not an answer all right yeah okay just saying that Uh, uh the course of uh, indian university of bloomington was not as per the expectation is not an answer mm -hmm. are you getting my point yeah i'm getting your point right so yeah. you say my brother did not find the uh, program uh, at indian university of bloomington as per the expectation so he changed to north american university that's right how did you come to know that it was not as per, as per the expectation what was it okay i have to give some reasons that you know if it became so that he did this course but in this course there was so and so he did not realize there were so and so subjects which was not of his liking he did on discuss with professors but since he was not able to get a solution then he had a correspondence with north american university where he found that the courses were to liking and the course was more affordable so you took it took a transfer to north american university so you say okay now i understand all right i got your point right and, yeah otherwise how will you understand how will you understand what you are telling in your mind you have 100 things you is not expect expectation but in, when you are communicating you are not communicated anything 
actually i was not prepared for this question at that time and but the visa officer can ask you any questions right yeah i know <laughs> can you tell that you know sorry you can't ask me this question because i am not prepared for this question <laughs> yeah so i was not prepared basically not prepared for this question so i just say whatever i get okay. say few basic rules for you okay when you are going to answer one never to criticize mm -hmm. never to criticize you are not an expert you are just a student okay who has a right to criticize who are experts on the subjects okay somebody who is expert okay who knows in and out of it and then he says this is why i feel this is not good okay. when we are a, when you are a student even i am a study abroad counselor i am not an i can't criticize anybody okay i don't think i have that much of knowledge to criticize anybody mm -hmm. when you criticize you are trying to give a wrong picture okay, okay. so don't say that indian university course was not up to the expectation say that he found certain courses which was not to his liking put it in other word okay okay he found certain courses which were not to his liking he had a discussion with the professor but since these courses were mandatory he could not change those courses whereas he also corresponded with north american he was also basically having a, a, he had also applied to north american university and he also had an i20 of north american university at that time so he corresponded with them and they were basically their courses he found to be much better and the cost was also reasonable so though indiana university is a better ranked university because he did not find certain courses to his liking can he found the cost to be reasonable he took a transfer to north mm -hmm. american university okay can i write your answer just give me a one second if i can write Hundred dollars. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> okay, I write down. Right. So yeah. don't criticize. No, say it is not up to the expectations. You are not an expert. Mm. An expert can say that this is not up to the expectation. Okay, I got your answer. Maybe I did. And again, basically, when you are saying about any other questions, like for example, don't say this is best or this mm -hmm. is worst. You mm -hmm. should never use this basically in your visa interview. Okay, mm -hmm. you are not a judge. You yeah. are a student. Yeah. Okay. So when you are a student, you are there to explore. You are going there to find out. You are there to basically do some research. You know, you are there to correspond with the professors. you are there to basically you know do lot other things that as a student you should do and that is what the visa officer will like when you say that you know i have done certain things i have done correspondence i have done research i have looked into the unicef website the courses are to this these are the subjects when you say all these things then you say that okay you are a good student okay am i making sense to you yeah okay, any other doubts and uh, no. uh, can you take my mock test i can't take your mock test it's like basically uh, this is too much of expectation right yeah. this is okay so i am here to help you with your doubts okay right. now mock test will have so many questions my mock test has more than 100 questions minimum 100 <laughs> it's a more than 100 questions because the visa officer can ask you any questions so i have to prepare from all angles and before i take the mock test i i try to get your profile so whatever profile i have got that's minimum when if somebody takes my visa if wants me to be taking my counseling then i have to know entire profile so okay how much i can ask any question so i will tell you what if the visa officer is going to ask you this question how will you answer if this question how you will answer if this question how will you answer and then if you are not able to answer i will give that this is how you should answer this is how you should answer this is how you should answer so that the student knows that how to prepare for the visa interview So it can't be done in such a short short session. Okay. How much you 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 charge for your consultancy? Okay. My uh, counseling fees is twenty five thousand Indian rupees, but uh, it's not necessary that you need to pay. I have given you the advice, but if you want that advice, you know, I don't know. Basically, you know, uh, I hope I'll be able to help you. But if you find it is good, then it's twenty five thousand rupees. All right. All right. Right. 
So the objective is not to register for, but if I can give you some tips, if you have certain problems, <laughs> this is my problem. How can I get an answer to this problem? I'll give you that answer. Okay. The mock I can't give because it's a one-time thing. So I can't give the entire mock to you. But uh, if you have some doubts that <laughs> if this is the case, if this is the case, for example, you said, I will, uh, next time I'm going to add my mother as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. That is not going to give a solution. By adding mother as a solution, how much funds I've added extra? That is what you're going to tell the visa officer. Then the visa officer will say, okay, ah, this is what makes the difference. That why you have added the mother as a sponsor? Because you can show now additional $10,000 or $15,000. Okay, I got your point. Right? And I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you so okay. much. It's Go right. get your visa. Uh, okay. Inshallah. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.